Lawrence is the name of the archdeacon of the Church of Rome, who was martyred in Rome in the year 258 during the persecution of Christians ordered by the Emperor Valerian. He was born of Christian parents in Huesca, a town in the region of Aragon, the northeast region of Spain. The young Lawrence went to Caesar Augusta, today Zaragoza, Spain, to study with a renowned Greek Christian teacher named Zistus, also called as Sixtus. When Sixtus left Spain for Rome, Lawrence followed him. A few years later, Sixtus was elected Pope in 257. Sixtus not only ordained Lawrence a deacon, but also appointed him first among seven deacons of Rome. Thus, Lawrence received the title of archdeacon. During those days, the Christian church was still new. It was extremely dangerous to be a Christian. Hostility against the early followers of Jesus Christ was growing. The law stated that if you practiced Christianity, expect to be arrested and killed. As a deacon of the church, Lawrence daily risked his life helping the poor, hungry, and helpless in Rome. While taking care of the poor one day, Lawrence overheard a soldier speaking to the bishop. You are under arrest, said the soldier. Lawrence saw that the bishop didn't object and silently followed the soldier. Lawrence was disappointed that the bishop didn't take him along, even though it was sure that he was going to be persecuted. He ran to his bishop and pleaded with him. Where are you going without your son, father? Where are you hurrying off to, holy priest, without your deacon? What is there about me that has displeased you now, father? Then Sixtus said, I am not leaving or abandoning you, my son, but there are greater contests yet reserved for you. I am an old man, and so I am given an easier fight to finish. But you are young, and for you there is a more glorious triumph over the tyrant awaiting. You will come along soon. Stop your crying. After three days you will be following me. The bishop said these words and left him. As strange as it may seem to us, Lawrence celebrated this fact. Soon I will be in heaven. Immediately, Lawrence sold everything he possessed and gave the money to the poor. While Lawrence was dispersing these items, a blind man named Crescentius asked for healing help. The holy deacon made the sign of the cross over him. It was a miracle. The man could see now. Unknown to Lawrence, an officer noticed him giving money to the poor. I bet these Christians have tons of treasure hidden away. I want it for Rome, thought the greedy man. The next day, when the deacon was alone, he cornered him and gave him an offer. Bring me all of the treasures you Christians have hidden, and a list of all the wealthy Christians here in Rome. Otherwise, we will arrest and kill you. The deacon thought for a while and asked him three days to surrender the treasures of the church. The officer was delighted. His pride and greed blinded him from seeing the truth. For three days, Deacon Lawrence went throughout the city and invited all the beloved poor, handicapped, and misfortunate to come together. He led them all to the greedy man. Here are the treasures of the church, said the deacon. The emperor was filled with rage. You are under arrest, Lawrence, for not bringing us the money or information we wanted. Your death will not be pleasant. 
Beheading was not enough for this Christian deacon. We are going to roast you over a grill. He ordered Deacon Lawrence to be burned alive in public on a griddle. The officer believed that the pain of being roasted would make Lawrence tell where the money was hidden, give them a list of the wealthy Christians, and deny God. But he was mistaken. The deacon cheerfully offered himself to the Lord Jesus. Lawrence's love of God was so great that he was not even bothered by the flames. In fact, there is a story about his death stating that while being roasted, he said, Turn me over. I'm not done on that side. Then, just before his death, Lawrence shouted, It's cooked enough now. Then, turning to God in prayer, I thank you, O Lord, that I am permitted to enter your portals. The tradition records massive conversions to the Christian faith as a result of the holy life and death of one deacon who understood the true heart of his vocation. It is still said to this day that all of Rome became Christian as a result of the faithful life and the death of this one humble deacon. They saw in Lawrence a great example of how to live and how to die faithful to the gospel. Oh, glorious St. Lawrence, martyr and deacon, who being subjected to the most bitter torments, did not lose your faith nor your constancy in confessing Jesus Christ. Obtain in like manner for us such an active and solid faith that we shall never be ashamed to be true followers of Jesus Christ and fervent Christians in word and in deed, even in spite of trials, persecutions, or the sword. Amen.